So what prayer strategy do you, do you recommend for her daughter who's been hanging out with known witches, still goes to church, but suddenly cut all ties with family and refuses to give stuff she stored for us? Again, this is there's a legal right of the demonic coming against her of sin to keep that happening. So spend time in the courts of heaven and say, Lord, what is the sin on me or my family bloodline that is causing this curse to come against my daughter, your daughter, and reveal that sin to me? Or were there, was there witchcraft on your family bloodline that you need to repent of? Is there things like that? So you have to see giving the demonic a legal right to to uh, do this with her, okay? Was there anybody that was in a cult or doing a cult thing? You see, the biggest thing that can come against your children and uh, if the family is if anybody in the family on the family line did anything in the occult, right? Witchcraft, sorcery, idol worship, Buddha worship, tarot cards. I mean, even, even you reading your horoscope is, is the occult. Did you go to any fortune tellers? I mean, that, that is, the, the devil will use that little thing. You might think it's a little thing. Like, oh, I went to the fair one time and had my palm read or something. You might think that's a little itty bitty thing. But the devil will use that as a legal right to drag your kids into witchcraft. I'm telling you, I know this for a fact because I've had to go and repent for that stuff. So look at yourself first. Look at your family bloodline. What is giving a legal right of the demonic to keep her in those lies and keep her under those curses. Repent, 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 repent. For yourself, for your family line, for anybody that did anything of the occult, even read their horoscope, even got their palm read, anything like that. It gives, even if you were a kid and you did one of those Ouija boards or something. Repent for that. Get it all under the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil looks for any little door he can get in, any legal right he can use to come against you and your family. So what you need to do is suit her up every day in the armor of God and take your seat of authority over him and over yourself. And then go to my prayer, annamariestrawhand.com how to go into the courts of heaven and just focus on repenting of anything of the occult. Do you realize that demonic altars go up against you and your family in the spirit anytime anybody does that? You read your horoscope or Harry Potter book or uh, do go to a tarot card reading or have your palm read. <laughs> Put a Buddha in your yard just for decoration. It's not funny. It's not a joke. It's not just like, oh, we're having fun. If you saw what went on in the spirit when those things happen, it opens a door to the demonic and a demonic altar goes up against your family that has to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Do what? Repentance. Now, Bridget, I would spend some time in the court of heaven, but it sounds to me also there could be some unholy, ungodly covenants, okay? And Freemasonry is of the occult. It is a, a demonic, Luciferian cult. So is there anybody in your family bloodline that did that? Because when I see that she goes to church, 
and she's also hanging out with witches, that points directly to me to Freemasonry. Because that's what they do. They pretend they're Christians. They show up in church and they go to their cult meetings, Freemason meetings, and the women do too with their Eastern star and they worship Lucifer and the devil and they do all their Luciferian demonic things. To me, that is a sure sign that there's a legal right of Freemasonry or Eastern star. Eastern star is the women, Freemasonry are the men somewhere on her family bloodline. That's giving a legal right of the demonic to come at her. And she wants to cut the ties with the family. Who cares about the stuff? You want your daughter back. You want her set free. She's under bondage. I would go to my site, AnnaMarieStrawhand.com, and I would do the prayer to uh, remove all Freemasonry covenants. Why is he saying to me, burn the bridges, burn the bridges, burn the bridges? Burn the bridges, burn the bridges, burn the bridges. Is there somebody in your family that's hanging on to something with Freemasonry? Somebody's hanging on to their old ways and doesn't want to change. This is what I think I need to add to the Freemasonry prayer. Uh, Jennifer, I noted this. I have a prayer on my site, cutting all ties to Freemasonry and severing um, all covenants with them. But the Lord is saying, burn the bridges. Father God, we just ask you right now to cut off all ties with Freemasonry that are affecting our family bloodlines going all the way back to Adam and Eve and burn any bridges connected to them. Burn any, I mean, burn any bridges connected back to Freemasonry. Sever all covenants and sever all ties with Freemasonry off our family lines and off our children and burn any bridges connected with Freemasonry on our family bloodlines so we, there's no going back. Burn the bridges, burn the bridges, burn the bridges. Burn the bridges to Freemasonry, Lord. Burn those bridges, burn them down, burn them down, burn them down, burn them down, burn them down! Thank you, Holy Ghost. A garrison is something that carries a heavy cannon for war. And you see those, those movies of the Revolutionary War, and you see the garrisons going over the bridges. And you, you're a fighter. And you need to do that prayer to sever all Freemasonry off you and off your family bloodline and off your daughter and any, any unholy, ungodly covenant and sever it off. And say, I'm we're gonna blast the flame of the Holy Ghost over any evil bridges still connected to my daughter. And those bridges, those evil bridges are burned. She will never go back over those evil bridges again. And every evil, unholy, ungodly covenant is severed off of her and off of our families, and every evil bridge burned. Thank you, Jesus. Oof. Burn the bridges, burn the bridges, burn, the, burn those evil bridges, Lord. Burn those evil bridges. Woo! I saw a bridge on fire.
I would say stay focused on that prayer to remove unholy, ungodly covenants on my site. And we're going to add in that prayer, Jennifer's making a note, to burn any bridges connected with Freemasonry and any unholy, ungodly covenants. We're going to add that in the prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But, okay, Jennifer, put, put a prayer up, cutting all ties to Freemasonry and sever all covenants with them and burn the bridges. Blast the flame of the Holy Ghost over every evil bridge. David says, wasn't there a, something about bridges, a song that children would sing, London Bridge is falling down. And we know that England is a stronghold of Freemasonry. Are we going to see London Bridge on fire? And if we see London Bridge on fire, that'll mean all Freemasonry has been burned to the ground. I'm, he is speaking to me in the spirit right now, and he's connecting Freemasonry somehow with bridges, and he's saying, Burn the bridges of Freemasonry. Burn their bridges. Burn their bridges. Burn their bridges. That's what he's saying to me right now. Okay, Holy Spirit. What are you speaking? When we see a bridge burning. That is a sign that you're burning down those Freemasonry connections. You're burning their bridges. Is that what you're saying, Lord? Mm. Let it be so, Lord. And we will speak that in our prayer as well. Hallelujah. Why did the London Bridge fall down? Part of the bridge was damaged in 1281 due to ice damage and was weakened by multiple fires in the 1600s, including the Great Fire of London in 1666. Whoa, 666 is connected to the uh, Antichrist spirit, which is Freemasonry, Illuminati. Despite all of its structural failures, the London Bridge survived for 600 years, never actually fell down, as the nursery rhyme implies. One dark theory behind the bridge is longevity. Mentioned there, were, there were bodies encased in the moorings. Oh, my goodness. Very dark. Could have been sacrifices to children. Okay, so my team just looked this up. Oh, my goodness. The Holy Spirit was showing me bridges while I was talking to Bridget Garrison. All right, we got, we got to take time with the Holy Spirit here. He's... he's Holy Spirit is revealing something here. That we must pray that all bridges that are connected to Freemasonry and Freemasonry is the Illuminati and the Illuminati is Freemasonry. It is an antichrist spirit that has been operating in the earth. Okay. One of the strongholds of it is in Europe. That's where it comes from. Okay. I saw a vision of a bridge on fire. And the Lord said, add that to your prayer with the Freemasons to burn the bridges. <laughs> and yes, they're involved in hurting children and have been for many, many years and still are. Well, it sounds to me like the Lord is revealing that he is dealing with the Freemasons and the Illuminati once and for all. And you're going to see these bridges burning, and that's going to be a sign and we that, that they're being dealt with. Jesus called them the synagogue of Satan, okay? They pretend they're Jews, but they're not. They pretend they're Christians, but they're not. And... Um, this is more than being lukewarm. These people actually, they actually worship Lucifer and they're Luciferian and they actually do horrible things against children. And not only that, they are involved in um, these kinds of things for centuries. 
including the Vatican, the Crown of England, a lot of our politicians. Um, he kept saying to me, burn the bridges, burn the bridges, burn the bridges. You see, if anybody has any Freemasonry in their bloodline, even if you don't know, you need to do that Freemasonry prayer. And we're going to add that part into it because there's something connected to this. And when we speak it and when we say it, a, a spiritual bridge would be burned down and then a bridge in the natural that they've been using for evil will be burned down. You understand what I'm saying? God wants us to add this to our prayers. This is going to be saving the children and our children because these demonic influences and these demonic principalities are getting burned out by the fire of God and their bridges are getting burned in the spirit. Remember the Lord said to me, he was going to overturn things. And I had a word that go back years, hundreds and hundreds of years. If we're talking about the 1600s, hmm. you remember six is the number of man. The, those who want to do things of the flesh, doing things man way, man's way, that, uh, you know, and when Jesus says the number of the Antichrist is 666, he's talking about their system. You see, the system of man. They're not in covenant with God. You see, their marking is 666 because they're, 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 they're of, the, of the covenant of uh, the, the man's way of, of the flesh. They, they don't, they're not in a covenant with God. You see, when we are, when you're in covenant with God, you're marked by God, by the blood of Jesus Christ. We have the mark of Jesus Christ. And when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we get the mark of God, the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ. We're safe. You and your household shall be saved, right? Because we're marked by the blood of Jesus Christ. But those who go in man's ways and do the ways of man and get into those covenants with those brotherhoods and worship Lucifer, that's that 666. That's what he's talking about. That's the synagogue of Satan, the Illuminati, the, the, um, the Freemasons. You see, Jesus Christ's brotherhood is the Church of Philadelphia in the book of Revelation. We are to be brothers and sisters in Christ. And through Christ, we worship Almighty God. We're not to be in any other covenants. These secret societies are being burned up. And this is what the Lord is showing me. And in the book of Revelation, Jesus said it would be. They'll, they'll all be, they'll all be, they'll have to, they'll have to come and kneel down. Th those, those, those people that were uh, in the synagogue of Satan will have to worship at our feet and know that he is Lord. 